The first thing you want to do is you want to set up your work area. So you're going to need your plastic mat or newspaper or something to make your space kind of neat. You're going to put that down. Good. The next thing you'll need to get is your canvas. You're going to take the plastic off. Good. You're going to set your canvas down. The next thing you'll need to get is your paper towel. The paper towel is to dab your brushes. You can set that to the side. The next thing you'll need is your glass of water. You can put your glass of water right over here next to the paper towel. The next thing you'll need to set up your work set is your paint set. Your paint set is already in the box, so all you have to do is just open it up and set up your paint set. <laughs> right here. The paint set comes with this little brush, but I don't really like this brush. That's why in your bag, you guys have three other brushes to choose from. So you can take your brushes out. So your work area should look like this. You should have your canvas, your paint, your paint brushes, your water, and your paper towel. And that's step one. The next few steps are when we're painting on our canvas. Today, we're gonna to be making a rainbow ombre. So if you're following along with the PowerPoint, you can look at the rainbow picture. It probably is, the painting is probably not gonna look exactly like that, but we're gonna to try to come close. So the first step you're gonna do is you're gonna use one of your big brushes. I like this big brush, it's flat. You're gonna dip it in the pink and you're going to paint a line like this on the top of your canvas. It should look something like that. You're going to continue following the colors along, starting with pink, then orange, then yellow, then green, then the light blue, then the dark blue. So the opening the, after you finish the pink, make sure to close the top. And then you can open the next one. They're a little bit hard to open. So try and be careful when you open it. I've been having a really hard time opening these. Aha, there we go. And it's okay if you see right here, I got some pink on me. There's still some pink on my brush, so I'm just going to repaint that. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your brush and you're going to dip it in the orange. And you're going to paint it right next to the pink. It should look now something like that. We have pink and then orange. You're going to repeat these steps and you can clean off your brush in between by just dipping it in the water, tapping it on your paper. It's kind of cool the different colors it makes. It's really pretty. You'll repeat this then with the yellow, the green, the light blue, and the blue. At the end, you're going to have a really, really beautiful painted rainbow. A really cool way to blend the colors is by putting your paintbrush in the water, tapping it, and then going in between the colors and blending. Blending is just mixing the colors together. This will create a really nice fade into each of the next colors. So by dipping my paintbrush in the water, I've created a lighter color after the orange. It might be hard to see. So the yellow is gonna be really, really, really pretty. So what you're gonna do next, you'll open the yellow, again, the green, the blue, and you are gonna have a finished rainbow. All right, so with step three, um, I've already finished my painting, but I'll show you the next step. You did the pink, the orange, the yellow, the green, and the blue, and the blue. So all of these colors should be on your paint. 
what you're going to do is you're going to take your brush and you're going to dip it in the water, tap it off, and then with the water on your brush, you're going to move it over your painting to blend the colors. It's going to blend all the colors together so you get this soft kind of soft transition between each color. All right, so your painting should be done. It might look a little something like this. The last and final step is to clean up. You wanna make sure the paint caps are really tightly on, so press those down. You're gonna put everything back into your bag, including your paintbrush. Hopefully you can find a nice place to put your new painting. If you've done, if you didn't attend our class today, please, and you want to do this activity at home, try and take a picture of it and then you can post it in the classroom.